Next into the tank, a master guitar maker who sold his house to finance his growing business. Ten years later, Willie convinced a shark to help him take his products onto the world stage. Hi, my name is Perry Olsby and my business is Olsby Guitars. We've been running this business since 2004 when I started with a dream and just $1,800. Myself and my team produce 50 guitars a year. They're all handmade and pre-sold. The pricing ranges from $4,000 to $12,000 with an average price of $6,000. In comparison to the bigger brands and their high-end models, they would generally be priced around two and a half to four and a half thousand. Due to our constant output of eye-catching designs and models, we're under massive demand. The last 20 handmade guitars that we sold, pre-sold in 66 seconds. Due to this demand, we've teamed with an offshore manufacturer to produce guitars to our specifications. These guitars range from $1,500 to $1,800, which is more accessible to the wider market. So what was the offer? The offer is 10% equity for $200,000. Thank you. We're going to hear a little demonstration of the handmade guitars from Jake and welcome any questions you may have. Yeah, well done, yeah, excellent. My, my husband collects guitars. Okay. So yeah, I'm We've got them all over the house. Sure. Why are your guitars so special? Okay, with our handmade guitars, we use a lot of um, very difficult to find and rare timbers. We use a lot of innovative designs like the multi-scale layout, which is the fan fret arrangement that you see. Yep. Okay. Um, and we pride ourselves on having the absolute best quality. So you, uh, your market is the absolute high-end people that just really love love the specialty of a, yes. a quality yes. artwork. Yes. You've got this high-end group, yes. you've now introduced mass production. Yes. In terms of dollars and numbers of guitars, in the next 12 months, how many are you going to sell and how much money are you going to generate in revenue? Okay. 2014 financial year, yeah. uh, the overall sales were 518000 right. and the profit was 363000 After paying yourself? Yes. In the first three months of this financial year, we've turned over $465,000. Whoa. Wow. Your annual sales are going from 518,000 to close to 2 million in one year. I mean, you know. Uh, we expect to be 1.4 million this okay. financial year. All right, okay. What is your predicted profit? 800,000. Why do you need us? <laughs> I mean, you've got a fantastic income. What I do need is just, just someone there to, to be a guiding light for me. Um, and I think together we can, we can build into a massive brand. $200,000, 10%, that's a $2 million valuation. Yes. I hate to say it, it's not a bad valuation, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, you should ask for more. <laughs> I actually thought that was a bit too much. No, no, mate, you have a really good business. And, you know, obviously, uh, I, I'm in awe of your business. You've done exceptionally well. Um, but. I'm not going to invest in this. I'm out because I don't know. I don't know guitars or music from anything. But you, you have gone in with an exceptionally cheap offer here, mate. I'll be asking for more. All right. So Steve's out. Where are we, guys? Yeah, I, I uh, love your business. Uh, my my concern is, I've employed plenty of uh, specialists in my time. They are high maintenance, and quite simply, uh, I have no doubt you are an artist, and you're going to be high maintenance to work with. He doesn't it's look a, high maintenance to no, me, it's, 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 a, it's a positive thing, <laughs> but I just know you're going to be high maintenance. And for this one, um, I'm going to bow out. But what you have is a fabulous business. Do not ever compromise. And, and well done, I'm getting where you're at. Thank you. Perry, you seem to have it all together, and I'm trying to work out really what you want. And I'm beginning to think what you want is a business partner, a business manager, or somebody to really work with you, hold your hand. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do. But I'm not that person. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you for your time. The downside on your business, it's kind of a double-edged sword as an investor, just sitting back objectively, is a lot of it's dependent on you. Yep. And of course, if you're a calculating 
uh, investor who is purely concerned with getting a return, you don't really like businesses that are too dependent on one product or sure. one person. So dependency on you is why I'm out. Thank you for your time. As an investor, quite often you think, what's the exit? So I'm, I'm looking at this deal and I want to do one. But I'm trying to work out how can I make a deal with you that actually allows for some of my concerns that I've got. Okay. So the deal I'm going to put to you is this. I'm going to give you the 200,000 for 10%. But I do want it returned at 220,000 in 24 months. So I basically get a 10% return on my money each year. I then will still maintain a 10% equity in your business after that period. She gets free equity, it's the best part yes, actually. Yes, Steve, is she doing a shakedown here? Yeah, I think she is actually. All right, how else are you going to get an exit? Yeah. He's selling, he's selling guitars, not banjos, mate. It's, not to go that bad. Well, then, mate, so. then write a check and do a deal. It's a Perry, deal. basically, apart from the little arguments going on, you basically got to put a price on, the, on your value of Janine's expertise. Look, I believe in your vision. I believe in what you've done. Don't believe enough to actually leave your money in there, though, do you? I mean, that's not a real belief. Anyway. That's actually, that's actually a free belief. It's always interesting if people aren't prepared to write a check what they say. They can well, say see, what, anything. What if, do, what, what if I do make an offer? Because I actually think yours is that bottom feeding. Then, it, darling, it, it, make actually, an it, actually, offer. it actually needs some competition. Oh, you're going to come back in, Steve? I'm thinking about that because I, I love that deal. I, I'm making an identical deal. Well, I think the deal is that good. I'll give I'll give two sharks to choose but, from. But you think it's such a but you think it's such a bad oh, I'm, deal. I'm highlighting how bad the deal is. You're saying you're going to make a, you, you'll yeah. do the same offer if that deal's on the table. I'll take a chunk of that. That's a terrible deal. Then write a check and do a deal. Perry Ormsby is weighing up an offer from Janine for a stake in his successful guitar making business. I'm making an identical deal. I think the deal is that good. You're saying you're going to make a, you, you'll yeah. do the same offer. If that deal's on the table, I'll take a chunk of that. So when you walked through that door, who did you want? You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the time to help you as much as I'd like to. I'm very tempted. But I'll go in with another shot. I'll go in with Andrew. On the same deal that I'm doing? Because it's a good deal. Yeah. I mean, especially if you get two sharks, you're going to get a lot of effort both sides. And all you've got to do is use your cash flow to pay us back. Perry, you don't need their money. If you think they bring something to the table that's going to help your journey go faster, take them. But you don't need their money and the deal is pretty dodgy. The deal is not dodgy. It's a normal part of business. Oh, it is not. It is the only way that an investor can get a return. So you actually want you want double return. You want your equity repaid, and you want to continue this, dividend you know, stream. This is a I've heard you do exactly part. the same deals this, before, there Steve. Is nothing, there You've is done nothing exactly standard. the same deals. No, I've done it through royalty, which is different. It, it takes a risk on sales. You're saying here, regardless of sales, I want the money back after 24 months, and I'm going to keep my equity. Perry, it's for Janine and I to decide the value of our time and our equity. Sure. It's not for them to decide. And that's the price we're putting on our value and our time. We have other options to invest in as well. We like you. We like your product. So I think it's time to, uh, uh, that, for, that, you, that, for you to make no, wait, the call. No, wait, the hurry up. The hurry up means nothing, does that? Because he's in the middle, he's not the chairman, right? Seriously, this is a $200,000 loan, and they my, pay 10% for the privilege. My offer has a time limit. Yeah, my mine, does, a time too. Limit mine too. does too. Mine does too. Well, there you I go. This is how day. serious they are. If you're welcome to take Steve's offer, if you like, imagine working with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine getting, imagine getting honest advice. You'd hate that. <laughs> it's, up, it's up to you. I don't feel comfortable with 24 months. To okay. Actually. So right. what do you feel comfortable with? Uh, I'd like to uh, make a counter offer. Sure. 5% each, um, dropping down to 5% total once the 200,000 is repaid, with the goal to repay that as fast as possible. I like you and I like your product. 2.5% is not a lot of skin in the game. 
uh, for me. I, I wish you well. You know, it's a nice business, but I'm out. I don't agree to it either. Thanks anyway. Chris, thank you very much. I assume you've ditched my offer too, is that correct? Yep. Well, good luck to you. Good luck. Well done, mate. You, did the, you made the right decision. Oh, though. for God's sake. You, you made the, the poor decision. I don't have any regrets. I'm confident about the future. We'll get there in the end anyway. Definitely was a bit of a shark fight. And, um, you know, it was um, interesting just sort of standing back while they're uh, arguing with each other. Yeah. Well done, uh, Steve. You totally blew that one out of the water. That was a bad deal. No. Nah. You're I wrong. You're actually wrong. Uh, I'm Brian from Melbourne, and I've created a product that will bring joy to people all around the world. By day, I'm a dentist. Does that feel OK? Mm -hmm. I love my job, but my passion is music. Have a little ring. Music is what feeds the soul. I'm really hoping the sharks bite on this idea. Their help can take it to the next level. This is a groundbreaking product because the power in its simplicity just makes it easy for anybody to use. Hi, I'm Brian Diskin from Diskin Guitars, home of a simply powerful innovation in musical instruments. Today, I'm offering 18% equity in my company in return for $36,000 investment. Secondly, you get This handmade shark valve. <laughs> <laughs> this is a handmade instrument. It's a collaborative effort between myself and my four children, who together they help design and execute Aww. the change to make it a shark <laughs> for one of you lucky people. Thirdly, you get the opportunity to join me to go down as part of music history. There are so many people who want to learn to play guitar like their rock idols. Kids start off in their bedrooms strumming on tennis rackets or cricket bats. And then as they get a bit older, they may move to games like Guitar Hero. But deep down inside, they know that they're not really musicians. Now, just about anybody who can count to eight can play hundreds of their favourite songs within minutes, not months, of starting to play. The disc and rail bar is an innovative new instrument that makes music simple. Thanks to a combination of the way it's tuned, the fret layout and unique numbered markings, playing chords is as simple as using one finger. It's like painting by numbers for music. Makes it easy. Now, if any of you would like to join me here for three minutes in three lessons, to unleash your inner rock star. All right, so right. lesson one. I don't one. know anything about guitars. That's even fine. Even how That's to hold perfect. it. Perfect. Right. Do I look cool? If you, you just That's pretty cool. take Excellent. the hand off there and strum down. You have now played your first chord. It is called in rail bar terms a one chord. OK. And it's equivalent in this one to a C chord. If you take this part of your finger mm -hmm. and just squeeze wherever you want. Yep. Number and, four. Yep. And strum again. You've now played a four chord and it's just Good that you played four because if we go to our next slide, we see one and four. One and four is already a song. The next is if you play one, five, six, four. You have now played all the chords for about 80% of all popular music in the last 70 years. Highly well done. Yeah. Highly talented. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. What, what is a rail bar? Rail, this is a rail bar. Is it a guitar? It is a type of guitar. Have you invented it or is it just a type? I have invented it, yes. Okay, so, so it's, it's your type of guitar? Yes. Rail it stands bar. for rhythm and lead, blues and rock. So you can play rhythm, you can play... Oh. So th this is that's this a, six. That's a six-string guitar. Right. Right. And that's a six-string guitar, the others are rail So this bar. is your basic product? This is my introductory product. Right. Is the point of difference in this that because it's like paint by numbers, anyone virtually on the first lesson can pick it up and start playing music. Yes. It's like training wheels. I try to avoid that sort of thing of saying that it's like training wheels because it is an instrument in and of itself. Right. It is something that you can play fantastic music and enjoy it, just have fun with it. Yep. So can these be played by someone who actually knows how to play a guitar? Absolutely, right. absolutely. The people who know how to play it can get more out of it than somebody who doesn't. Right. 
So how Very long possible. does it take to make each one and how many can you produce? Um, I'm in negotiations with a company in Asia to, to manufacture them. There's just a couple of tweaks that we need to do before we go into a first run of manufacture. And it costs you to make how much? We figure that with import duties, costs of shipping and so forth, that will come to about 110 Australian dollars um, once it's landed. What do they sell for? We'll be selling them for $250. Yeah. Which is approximately the cost of a, of a decent beginner guitar. And what's your minimum percent. orders? At the moment, I, I've got 100 that, are, that I've ordered. Selling those, I don't think will be a problem selling the 100 and then using that money to reinvest. Yeah, but selling 100 isn't really going to get your money back. How much have you put in this business, did you say? It depends what you count as putting in. I've got some very expensive toys in my shed, probably about seven or eight thousand dollars invested in it at the moment. I think they're beautiful. Thank I you. think they're just, I think you're so clever. Um, Thank you very much. I'm not sure I want to be in the guitar business though, so for that reason I'm out. Thank you. So what are you going to use the money for? That $36,000 would be used for completion of uh, patent, patents and trademarks. There's a patent pending in America and an innovation patent granted in Australia. We uh, applied for a trademark for the, the shape of the body. It would be used to develop a R&D, to develop the acoustic version so that we could make acoustic models. You're not asking for enough cash to actually take this forward, to be honest. Uh, I don't understand the music business, let alone instruments, so look, I'm, I'm going to bow out. Thank you. I think there's a long way between right now and when this is actually an investable, scalable business. So for that reason only, I'm out. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate your time. This is what I see, that um, at this point it's so boutique. So for that reason, I'm out. Well, thank you. You know, I love the guitar, and I'm one of those frustrated uh, guitar players that kind of got knocked around in early years, and I'm kind of trying to go back to it. Mm -hmm. I really think you're onto something. Thank you. And I'm very tempted. But, you know, as I, uh, I always say, I don't confuse my passions with my business decisions. I'm not going to invest in your business, it's too niche for me, but I'm going to offer you $7,000 if you want to sell me that guitar. $7,000? I'll take that uh, shark guitar off your hand for $7,000. Thank but, you very much. Uh, on, the, on the investment as a whole, I'm out. Wait a sec, is this a competitive bid for the guitar? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> no, I'm going to make it for We have $7,000, we have $7,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Look after yourself. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. Next up in the tank are three music-loving mates from Perth who think they've discovered an untapped market for guitar players around the world. Hi, I'm David. I'm Mike. I'm Tony. And we have a product that we believe every musician is going to want. I've been working in the music industry for about 18 years, which is yeah. where I met Tony. He's been doing it for about the same. This one goes out to the bar staff and the hot security guy. We love gigging. It's like our air that we breathe. That's who we are. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. The things that we're addressing have never been tackled before. It's almost so simple that you'd wonder why. It's like, you know, but we've literally that just... That kind of moment. moment. Yeah. I think that's going to be the moment. We're pretty much going shark hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Is that called fishing? This is amazing. This is something that 1% of people in a population would probably ever get to experience. For us, this is a big opportunity. This is it. This is going to change our lives. <clears throat> if you could see what I see, baby, how could this be? Anything but easy, let it all go. If you believe what I believe, then improbability becomes possibility to let things grow. Cause life's too short and it's too fun. Look at all the good that we have done. So if you see what I see, baby, how could this be anything but easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just let them go. Hey. Well done. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm Mike. And I'm David. And, and we, we are, are the, the Guitar, guitar Strap Company. Company. Hey.
We're seeking $100,000 for a 10% investment in our company. The products that our company designs are for musicians, designed by musicians to help solve problems that we face in the industry all the time. We've noticed a lot of commonplace problems found pretty much across the board. So whether it's a flat battery, oh. or you have to fix a broken string, or sometimes you just need to find a business card. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't want to do is have to put this guitar down and go rummaging around somewhere in the backstage through all your cases looking for a needle in a haystack. And our aim with our patent pended utility strap is to put more time in the musician's hands, whether it be live on stage or at home in your bedroom. Your investment today will be used to take the utility strap to its final market ready stage, as well as help us raise cash to go to production for uh, expression of interest that we've received from a national retail distributor who has 200 stores across Australia and New Zealand for our premium range of leather, standard leather and entry level straps. Additionally, we're seeking mentorship from the Sharks to help take us, our product and our company to an international level. Okay. So you're looking for $100,000 for 10%. So you're valuing your business at $1 million. Yes, that's, that's right. correct. Just clarity on the what's on offer. It's not just the utility strap, it's the, the whole business, is that right? The whole business. Yeah. business yes. Okay, great. Yeah, we have a line of premium straps which we have developed for the retail market. Feel free to come and have a look. We'll walk you through what we have. Sure. Which one's a premium and which one's a standard? So this is a premium strap. Currently, most straps will not actually have a backing with a padded option. I'll take it to Andrew, who's the, the guitar player, and Naomi, actually. There are 13 different backing stitching options. Oh, these are just some of the backing options that we have. Ripper. Oh. So is this um, on the market now, the utility uh, strap? No, not at the moment. Um, we haven't launched it just yet. <laughs> That's the other line we're producing. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the market size for guitar straps? Australian numbers, there's 220,000 guitars sold yearly. That's just acoustic guitars. And our market research is showing that each store is selling about 60 straps per week. So if we can get at least 10% of that market share, we'd be doing okay. What do these sell for? $59.95. And our premium, which is that one there, will cost us $13 landed Australian to produce. So we're still making good margins. But what we don't know is, will this product sell itself in store? So we have a, a strategy with our endorsees. For instance, at the moment, we've, we're in talks with Gene Simmons from KISS. We have Adam Brand, a country music western star, who's one of our endorsees. We have uh, a band called Taxi Ride, which is an Australian band. And we're currently, there's about another 10 artists that we're negotiating making straps for. So you just send it to them, do they, and then they, and they produce it, promote it, and exactly. social media blast that as well. So um, the bit I'm confused about is a million dollar valuation. We haven't got sales yet. We don't have a barrier to entry. Really, we're a marketing machine. Yeah. Yeah, how did you come up with that number? The launch partners that we're talking to with the 200 stores, we're also talking to another major retailer in Australia. We took our products to them and they said, look, we can put it in our 200 stores with a order of 5,000 straps. How far along are you to a purchase order rather than in discussion? Uh, the person who has the distribution company is a personal friend of ours and he said, as soon as you've got the money in order to... Oh, we've got a chicken this. and egg here then, have we? You've got to get the money to get the order. Yeah. Using 5,000 straps as an example, walk me through what it's going to cost to fill that order and how much money are we going to make? So we're looking at uh, a cost, um, sorry, a cost of a profit, a profit, a final profit of $98,000 based off the, uh, sorry, $45,000 based off the uh, purchase price of um, Sorry, I've lost my figures. It's really important you know your numbers. Musicians Mike, Tony and David have brought their line of custom guitar straps into the tank. Um, sorry, I've lost my figures. But their pitch has gone off key and now they need to get back in tune before they lose all the sharks. It's really important you know your numbers. What I've bumped into, a lot of businesses that create orders, 
once you've taken everything you need to, sell them below cost and you don't have a business. So let's get back to it. What's it costing to put them through? Well, there's a cost of $10 a strap. So yep. there's 50 grand. Yep. I'm moving now to Mike. What have you sold them for? What have we sold them for? $25. 25 dollars a strap. What have we sold them for? <laughs> Sorry, I've done the sales. I'm just keeping this team working together. So we've now got 50 grand we've got to find off one of us. There's a $75,000 profit on that 50 grand. Why would they buy yours over what's currently available in the marketplace? How are you different? The end game for this company would be to be able for a customer to dial into the website, choose their colour, choose their stitching, choose their backing, choose their style, push print and receive in 30 days. Right. Um, I'll lead the way because I think I've made a decision. As an entrepreneur and investor, you didn't convince me today that you're at the point where I can invest in you and get my money back yet. Um, so I think there's a business there, but I'm out. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. I see three guys with passion, and I have no doubt that you can sell a lot of these straps. What I don't see is whether those straps can sell themselves. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you very much. You look, guys, very, they look very pretty. I'm, I'm not musical at all, I'm tone deaf. I actually don't <laughs> get it. But look, good luck and uh, I'm out. Thanks very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So two more sharks in the mix. Who's going? I'll, I'll throw it out there. It's really an incredibly fledgling business that needs a lot of mentoring and a lot of support before we're going to get anywhere. It doesn't fit my profile of investments that I like, so I'm out. Um, look, for me, there is no evidence that you guys can even run a business. You're one year in, it looks a really nice idea, it's a great product, it's not competitive. The business is not going to make any money for a long time. Saying that, I'm going to do a deal. Okay. I'm going to offer you 25% for 100,000. It's two and a half times <laughs> dilution. So you guys are going to decide whether you need the cash that badly. You came in here looking for $100,000 for 10% and you have one offer from Janine for $100,000 for 25%. What are you going to do? Would you like to have a chat? May we please have a chat? Off Thanks, you go. Sir. Have you made an offer on every guitar business? <laughs> it's every time there's a guitar, I always make an offer. My husband's got five guitars. We're trying to capitalise on an opportunity right now, so okay. we have to ask ourselves, is that opportunity worth 25% of the company? Well, I just have to tell you, I think you've got guts. Because anything like this with a small market, no barrier to entry, you could have a brilliant marketing plan. Okay, okay. let's do it. Hey. Good luck. So, you've been out there in the tank, what did you think? We've uh, take, taken everything on 100%. We are quite well aware of our um, nucleus phase of our company and we're very green in this. We're very and grateful for your time and, and advice as well. We, we know that you guys are the leaders of what you do. So, on that note... We'd definitely like to take you on. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Hey, <laughs> <Yeah>, well done. <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. We're, we're very, very, very <laughs> happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Couldn't have turned out any other better way. And we're actually after yeah. Janine, so Janine. It was, yeah. Bomb the button. We got Janine. We got Janine. Oh, well, congratulations. Prove me wrong. If they actually deliver what they say, they've got a real crack of actually getting it. I have to say, as a team, I think they will listen and take instructions. Yeah. So that's good for you. It is. It is right.